Hi, I wanted to do a short how-to video on making springs. We needed a throttle spring for our marlin that we were doing up, and uh, I didn't have one suitable. So we thought we'd see if we can make our own, ideally one that doesn't go rusty. Okay, so this is the kind of thing that we're going to make. This is one that I made before. So the first thing we need to think about is what we're going to make the spring out of. Well, like I say, I didn't want it to go rusty, so I chose some of this stainless steel wire. This is actually TIG welding wire, and um, you can see the grade there, it's 308L, it's 18.8, suitable for welding 18.8 or 304 stainless steel. The same stuff your knives and forks are made out of. So what do we need to choose when thinking about how to make a spring? Ideally, there's better materials to use. You can look up in textbooks. I love these little workshop practice textbooks. There's all sorts of information in this to tell you about how to calculate the strength of springs, the materials, all these kind of things. And that's great. But I wanted just to do something much more simple. A little spring like this will do the job. We could calculate how strong it needs to be, but I just wanted it plenty springy for my throttle return. And it can be trial and error. Using a material like this stainless steel is good because it's already, it's quite hard. And so it'll take a set like this and it doesn't go beyond its elastic limit too easily. So that means it'll spring back. If you were just to use a soft iron or a soft steel like that, it would be easy to exceed the plastic limit, the limit of proportionality, the yield point, and when you pull it, it would stay stretched. And we don't want that. We want it to behave like a spring. But we're not going to go into the calculations, not today anyway. We're just going to show how I turn this long piece of straight wire into a nice little spring like that. Okay, so to make a spring, we need to wind the wire around something. And here in the lathe, I've got a piece of six millimeter steel bar and you can see there, I've just cut a little slot in the end of it. I just did that with a hacksaw. Okay, so obviously using machines like this, this is how I would do it. But in your case, safety first, take all the necessary precautions that you think you need to take. I've done this before. I know what I'm doing. We've got all sorts of safety measures in place as well. So be careful, but I'm just showing you how I might do this. So we, all we need to do is put our piece of wire into the little groove, leave plenty of a tail behind there because you might want to make a long hook or something like that and just start it like that. So we've got a wire bent like that. Bottom gear in the lathe and then we need to hold on tight. I'm using a pair of pliers here to keep some tension. We can keep the coils close together, we can space them out as we wish but you'll see as we go how the spring forms itself as we move along. Now we can see I'm manually steering the spring here so that the coils are nice and tight. I'm going to stop my lathe now, let it wind down for a second or two. And uh, we probably want a bit more spring than that, so let's wind a bit more. You can calculate how stiff the spring is based on the thickness of the wire, the number of turns and all manner of things. My spring's a little bit trial and error, but that's okay. Okay, so I'm going to leave ourselves a nice long tail here. Now the wire has pulled itself tight around the mandrel there, but it's a spring and it's quite springy. And when I let go of this end, it's going to whip round a couple of times, so just be careful. And it'll expand in diameter a little bit until it's relaxed like that. And then we can just slip that off the mandrel and we've got the makings of our spring. Looks like the one you might use on a mousetrap at this point, and it would probably do that job. But that's not what we want. We want to make it into a nice little tension spring. Let's see how we can do that. Okay, so we've got our spring off the lathe. Now we want to bend the ears and the little hooks on it like this. Now this, this um, stainless TIG wire is quite hard, it's quite stiff, but that's what makes it a good spring. But you can bend it with pliers or you could stick it in your vise or do whatever you like. But it's possible just to bend it by hand 
like that, and you can bend it into whatever shape you might need for the spring that you want. Let's leave it quite long here. It is fairly stiff, this stuff, which is good. That's what you want. Maybe that's gonna go over some bracket. You can do the same at this end as well. You can make it whatever kind of shape you think you need for the application you want. And that's where we can we could bend it however we want. Okay, so, um, well, maybe not everybody's got a lathe. So you can do this in, in the vise, even just using your battery cordless drill here. The same kind of mandrel. Uh, it's just a piece of the same, um, same mandrel I used in the lathe there, just a bit of six mil bar. You could use a bolt or anything, just cut a slot in the end of it. So the drill in bottom gear, which isn't quite as slow as the lathe. So this might take a bit of handling, but you can go steady. An assistant could be useful here. Look at that, almost as good. Again, when you finish, just be careful, don't, don't just let go, because it will whiz round when you go to take it off the mandrel, or you release it there. So I'm just gonna be a little bit gentle, because I've been smacked on the hand by these a few times. Let's let the tension off, and there we go. It'll do the job, I'm sure. And that's how I make little springs.